Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to get the big voluminous puffy pony that I've been wearing lately. I've been obsessed with wearing my hair like this just because when I have like dirtier hair, um, sometimes when I try to put it up in a bun, it just doesn't work for me. So by throwing it up in a ponytail, I can get away one more day without washing my hair. It's really great for those like three day old hair when you just really don't want to style your hair that day, but you don't want to look like a complete slob. So I just throw it back in this ponytail. It takes me less than five minutes to do so I just wanted to share it with you guys it is gonna take me a little longer than five minutes to do here because we are gonna curl our pony and I'm gonna show you how I get it to be like big and voluminous so the first thing I'm gonna do is obviously you're gonna need some hair extensions for this and you can use as many pieces as you want um, I just tried to use the smaller pieces what I mean by smaller pieces are the smaller wefts like this so I am wearing Bellamy hair extensions I want to say these are mochaccino brown which um, um, they are a little bit lighter than my hair. I mean, it's really hard to tell but in the light You can see a little bit of brown in them But I have like bags and bags of hair extensions So these might not be mochaccino, but I want to say that they are because they look like it to me So um, all you're gonna do I'm gonna brush my hair out first And this is my I didn't this isn't like day-old hair or anything like that I did just wash my hair last night and then I just blue dry it at the end But it's not like straightened or anything. So that's why it's like kind of like puffy and fuzzy. So then what you're going to want to do is just section your hair off to the middle of your head, kind of like right here, and then pull this up out of the way, because this is where we're going to be clipping our extensions, is right up in here. So I'm just going to make sure all this is out of the way, and clip it up. So then we're going to be placing our extensions right in this area, and I have, how many pieces do I have? I have one, two, three... Four. I have five pieces just because I like my pony to be extra thick so I'm gonna move this little table that I'm working on because I need to turn around but I can't so I've already brushed out my extensions and everything like that so here's where we're gonna be clipping them in and all you're gonna do is we usually clip our extension in like this but we are going to take our extension and we're going to flip it upside down so that we're clipping it in this way so that when we pull our hair up, the extension will lay flat on our head. So as you can see, it's like sticking out. That's what you want it to do because then when you pull your hair up, it's going to lay flat to your head. That is the secret tip. So I'm just going to keep clipping hair in. like that. And remember you can put in as many pieces as you want. You don't have to put in five pieces but I do have shorter hair as you know so I just wear more pieces in my hair to make my pony a little more voluminous. So we're gonna clip in our last piece and then that's what it should be looking like back there. I really wish you could wear your hair extensions like this and it didn't like hurt your head because it does hurt when they're clipped in upside down and you don't have them pulled up because they're like pulling on your hair more but I feel like if you could wear them like this it would just give you so much more volume in your hair. I'm going to pull this the rest of my hair down just let it drop down over it. See like look how voluminous your hair would look if you could clip your hair in upside down. <laughs> So I'm going to spray my hair first with a little bit of this dry thickening spray from Kenra just because I do have freshly washed hair and I don't want it to be so like loot, like um, silky feeling. Like freshly washed hair is a little harder to work with because it's so soft and clean. So I'm just spraying some of this thickening spray in it just to add a little more texture to it. Then all we're going to do, easy peasy, is just pull up our hair. So I'm going to go to the side so you guys can see a little better. I'm going to make sure that we grab all these hair extensions. And then as you can see, they lay flat to your head when you pull up your hair. And then I just keep messing with the front with my fingers to get it to look how I want. We're just going to lock him in place. Three times if you can. Ugh. Ugh, 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 ugh. 
So then as you can see, it looks a little flat right here on the top. So what I do is I just come from back here and I pull. I pull up so that I get a little height up here. This is where our bobby pins are going to come in because sometimes I can pull it and then it gets a little too high and as you can see it's really wobbly because I have clean hair. So what I do is I'm going to pull some of these out and then I just with my fingers kind of comb it back to how I want and then pin it in place. See we don't, we don't want this wiggle happening. You see, we're not now we're not as wobbly as we just were. Just pull gently though. You don't want to go crazy with pulling your hair because then you, you could mess it up. So then I kind of like how this is looking. I'll just take a little bit of the working spray from Kenra. This is only a hold of 14 and it goes all the way up to 26. So you're going to get a little bit of a hold, but you're not going to get anything that's like too crunchy or anything like that. I usually tie it up with two hair ties, but this hair tie is actually feeling super secure, so I'm only going to leave the one in. But if you feel like your ponytail is a little droopy, then I always put two in and that kind of cranks it up a little bit. And we will be putting a clip in just to get more volume from our ponytail as well. But now I'm going to curl the pony pieces. I'm going to use the Bellamy 6-in-1 wand. I'm using a 25 millimeter barrel. You can curl your hair beforehand if you want. Um, but if you noticed, my hair was straight when I put the hair in. So I just find it easier to curl when I have the ponytail in. We're just going to curl all of our pony. We're just going to repeat this whole thing all over our head. And then I'll show you what I do to have it not like so curly and fluffy. YouTube people? Yes. Hi, YouTube. Hi. Look right here. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Yay, Pookie. Look at your little tan face. Mm. All right. You watching Kitos? Yes. Are you playing on the iPad? iPad. Mm -hmm. All right. Get out of here. So then once you have it all curled, you can give it a little tug again just to make sure everything's still tight and right. Then I'm going to go in. Let's put this the right way with my handy dandy wide tooth and we're gonna go in and tease it and then we're gonna brush it out we're gonna tease it so that we get the volume in it and then we're gonna brush it out so it's not like naughty looking or anything like that because we do want it to be smooth looking so I'm just going in holding the ends and then pushing it up I'm using the wider end. If you use the smaller end, you're going to get more of a tight tease, and I want more of like a loose, puffy tease. So then your guy is looking large and in charge, and before we go on, I'm going to take one of these clips and stick it in here so that it holds everything more securely and it gives us a little bit more of oomph in our pony. And then we're going to take our paddle brush and we're gonna gently brush through our hair to loosen up that tease and tame it a little bit. If you are wearing hair extensions, I just like to hold the whole pony and then come in and brush everything out. But try to be as gentle as you can. Brush this side. Shake him up like that. Go back in with our dry thickening spray. Just gonna spray some of these baby hairs back. And 
And then I like to pull down these hairs around my ears just because I like a more messy looking look, whether it be just hair down, hair up, in a bun. I don't know, I just like messy-esque hair. So I just pull these little side guys down. So then it should be looking something like this. He's large and in charge. And then to finish it off, because we did do a lot of teasing to it, I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of this shine spray. Um, just so we look nice and shiny. And that's it. <laughs> there is our big puffy pony. So I know it seemed like a lot, but it's only because I was talking to you guys. I really can do this hairstyle in 10 minutes tops if I'm trying to be extra fancy. But usually I can just do it super, super quick. And it's great, like I said, on days that I just do not feel like doing my hair and my hair is just on its way out and needs to be washed, I can just throw it up in this ponytail and I'm out the door and good to go. And usually when I do wear this ponytail, I'll get stopped. People are like, I love that pony, how big it looks. I'll be like, thanks. It really looks like just like a horse tail. I like it. <laughs> so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know what you guys want to see next. I do want to film another video for you guys tomorrow. I don't know if it'll be up tomorrow, but I do want to film for you tomorrow. So let me know what you want to see. And yeah, that is it for this video. So I don't have anything else to say except I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.